What's the difference there? and guided reading, but uh, guided math I never thought was doable. But thanks to Janice and some of the activities she's given me to use, I'm able to pull a small group um, just to work with me now. And that small group can focus on something that maybe they didn't really get a good grasp on um, a week before. So I'm starting to see my students um, thinking deep in and also I'm able to review some concepts that I wanted to review with them that maybe I wouldn't have before. I would have just kept uh, moving forward. Um, and also they love that special time with me where if they don't understand something, it's easier to say that in the small group than it is in the big group. And there's so many students that don't talk during our math blocks and um, to have them sit with me in a group of four or five or even sometimes two just to quickly go over something, I feel like I understand them a little bit better and I feel like I know where my students are a lot more this year than I ever have before. to say counting collections has been something that's really um, inspired myself and my students to go beyond what they already knew. Um, I think the children go beyond what I think I was supposed to get out of that lesson just by doing counting collections. So that's one um, area that I've really tried to put into my curriculum this year. Also uh, this resource, highly um, High Yield Routines, has been really helpful um, and give me sort of warm-ups for the students. And sometimes the warm-ups don't actually connect to what I might be going into, but what I like about them is that they show the kids sometimes um, there's one answer um, to a problem we can all get there in different ways, or sometimes there's multiple answers to one specific problem. So that's what I like about those two. Um, for, uh, that's what I like about this resource a lot. So when I was looking at the redesign curriculum this year, the two areas that I really wanted to focus on was to show my kids that mathematical, mathematical concepts connect, and also um, I want to make sure in every lesson that I give them time to share and reflect, because that's when, when I'm not teaching and they're teaching each other, so much more richness comes out of it, and some things I would have never mentioned to them, um, they learn from their peers. So I want to make sure at the end of every lesson I give time for that sharing space. Okay. 